All right. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the third session in our Trendsoft user group. Again, my name is Bobby Haggard, and I'm one of the consultants here at Trendsoft. Uh, let's first make sure everyone is logged into the correct session here. You've turned tuned into our third session, uh, Trendforms, a lightweight solution that packs a heavyweight ROI. Now, as most of you know, Trendox provides a complete P2P automation solution that's powerful, affordable, and tailored for the mid-market. Uh, plus, Trendox seamlessly and tightly integrates with your existing ERP system, whether it's Dynamics GP or Dynamics 365 Business Central or NAV. Uh, the spotlight of this webinar is on Trendforms. Uh, that's a lightweight requisition module for non-inventory purchase orders like CapEx and services. Uh, Trendforms offers line level rules and approvals that can take place simultaneously and can even be delegated to other approvers. It's easy to set up and user friendly. Trendforms supports multiple companies and departments, plus supports more than just PO forms. Uh, you can use Trendforms to automate HR and personnel files, checklists and processes, expense reimbursement, and much, much more. All right, so before we jump in, a couple of housekeeping notes here. Uh, one, we went ahead and muted all of the phone lines, try and keep down some of that background noise. So if you have a question, which we absolutely encourage, please use the Q&A feature of the Zoom tool webinar tool. A couple of my coworkers, uh, Callie Wagner, Tara Cox, and Jeremy Pritchard, uh, will be monitoring that Q&A along the way. Uh, again, at the end of the presentation, uh, if you want a copy of the video recording or of the slides, just drop your email into the Q&A. We'll know what that means and we'll be happy to provide that for you. Finally, at the conclusion of the session, you will receive an evaluation form. If you complete that uh, evaluation form by Friday, you'll be entered into a drawing for a giveaway, which we'll be announcing next week. All right, let's jump in first with a quick little poll here uh, to understand what you guys are, uh, you know, looking for. So uh, from which procure to pay P2P process would you most like to automate, uh, you know, that's whether that's purchase requisitions, accounts payable, or vendor payments. So um, as that feedback comes in, you know, there's a lot in the P2P and just really depending where you already have automation, you might be looking for automation in other areas. So uh, obviously these are three areas that Trendox uh, focuses on. And obviously the focus of this one is on the purchase requisition side, which is where we're seeing a lot of that feedback right now. All right. Appreciate those of you who uh, commented on that poll. Let's go ahead and jump right in here to the presentation. So as you saw upon registration for the user group, there are several other sessions as noted. We've already completed the first two. As I mentioned, this is the third. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to register yet for the final session on Business Central, please visit our website, trendsoft.com, and register. If you missed either, either of the prior two sessions about Dynamics GP or Power BI, uh, don't worry. We did record those, and we will have those slides and those video presentations available that we'll be happy to share with you. So again, if you want those and you miss them, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to send those to you. Uh, our presenter on this uh, webinar today will be Jeremy Pritchard. Jeremy joined Trendox in November of 2020 as the Director of Sales and Marketing. Prior to joining Trendox, Jeremy most recently served as the Director of Operations for Spalding uh, within their marketing department. Jeremy has a BS in marketing from Western Kentucky, and Jeremy lives in Glasgow, Kentucky, and is an active member uh, with various youth and ministry activities in his local community. With that, I'll go ahead and turn this presentation over to Jeremy. So, Jeremy, I'll let you take it away. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Pritchard. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Trendox, and I'd like to welcome you to this session of today's virtual user group. I want to start off by thanking Tara and Bobby and Matt for the opportunity to present in this great event. I want to uh, thank you for participating in today's event. Today, if you did not know, today is Earth Day, April 22nd, 2021. And you might think, hey, that's great, but what are you talking about Earth Day for? Well, trend forms can help advance the cause of Earth Day by helping you go paperless. So we're going to talk about Trendform's purchase order automation today. We can do lots more than that, but that's going to be the gist of our conversation. Before we do that, though, I have a few PowerPoint slides, just a few that I want to go through. 
Trend Forms is one of three platforms offered under the TrendDocs umbrella. And all three are automated workflow solutions. So first of all, Trend Forms helps with purchase requisitions. Trend Docs helps with accounts payable. And Trend Pay helps with vendor payments. So we can actually automate your entire procure to pay transaction from the front end of initiating uh, orders to handling the documentation in the middle to actually paying your vendors. We can do the full P2P cycle for you. Today, though, we're going to talk about trend forms. And as a company, why do we exist? Well, we exist specifically to help mid-market businesses. And we want to increase their ROI by increasing their efficiency. And ultimately, the way that we do that is through automation. And when we do that, not only do we increase efficiencies, but we increase profits. And that helps make uh, you guys happy. It helps make us happy. And that's what we aim to do is not just satisfy our clients, but actually make you happy. Now, automation, everyone knows that um, manual paper laden processes are not very efficient. And everyone knows that automation is a much more efficient route. But most folks don't really understand just how wasteful pushing paper around the office can be. We do, though. We know from our own client studies, uh, case studies that we've done with our actual clients, we know from the industry papers that have been published, you can save a minimum of $3 per document, $3 per transaction. That adds up very quickly. So if you're a large company that's maybe doing a thousand documents a week, we're talking about well into the six figure savings annually. And I can assure you that our solutions don't get anywhere near that range in terms of cost. So you could be looking at well under one year paybacks. If you're a small company, maybe you're only doing a hundred documents a week. We know at a minimum you can save $3 per document, but on the plus end of the range, on the higher end of the range, you can save upwards of nine or 10 doc dollars a document. So you have the opportunity, the potential is there to save forty-five dollars or $50,000, even for a small company. Again, automation is big time ROI, and that's what we deliver for you. Three modules. What do we do? Well, we automate your entire P2P transaction, your entire procure to pay um, transaction, and we provide very powerful, uh, very affordable, custom built, tailor made solutions for you. Trend Forms is what we're going to talk about mostly today, and that's where we automate your requisitions, purchase orders. We can do a lot more, but that's what we're going to talk about mainly today. Accounts Payable is handled by Trend Docs, and that's our company namesake. It's where we got our start. And then on the back side, again, Trend Pay is where we can automate your vendor payments. So if you would like to speak with me more about any of the others, I'm going to have my contact information up here in a moment. Feel free to reach out, drop your email into the chat, whatever you'd like to do. I'd love to speak with you. One note I want to make here about this custom built conversation. Now, obviously, we're not building from the ground up from scratch every single time. Um, we, that just doesn't make sense. That kind of defeats the purpose of automation. So we know that there are standard types of things that every team is going to need. So most of the solutions that we have are probably 75 to 80 percent um, standardized across the board, but there's also that 20 to 25 percent that's tailored specifically to you, specifically to your business rules, your business needs, your business language. And so we provide tailor-made solutions um, just for the rules and, and practices that you need in your business. Here's my contact information. I'm going to leave this up just for a moment in case you'd like to speak with me. Uh, feel free to connect uh, email, phone, LinkedIn, however you would like to get in touch with me. Uh, I would love to, to speak with you and help you if at all possible. OK, so that's a quick run through of the PowerPoint slides. And now we're going to get into the where the, the real fun takes place here. So Trend Forms. Just like Trend Docs, Trend Forms is a, a web-based tool. It's a cloud solution. It's hosted on Microsoft Azure, and we have a secure SSL certification that we apply to the site. Since it's on Azure and Azure is SOC 1, 2, and 3 compliant, then the very high securities. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in as the admin. And I want to make a point of that, that I'm logging in as the admin, because in a moment, 
I'm going to show you some pretty cool things you can do um, and not be an admin. But when we designed trend forms, we knew that most of our users would not be accounting users. We knew that they may not even be working in the ERP system. So trend forms is targeted towards non financial users and we wanted to keep it very simple. Doesn't require a lot of time to learn. It's very intuitive, very easy to learn, very easy to use. And probably by the time we get done with this demo today, you'll feel like you could take it on for a test drive yourself. And honestly, you probably could. It's that easy. So there were four main goals for trend forms. When we developed it, we wanted it to be, first of all, easy to use. And again, it's made so that non accounting users can very quickly, very easily learn the solution. Number two, we wanted it to be easy to spin up and we made it so that we can have this uh, solution up and running integrated into your existing systems in under two weeks. So one to two weeks we can go from talking about the solution to you actually using the solution real time with your ERP. Whatever systems you're using. Number three, we want it to be affordable for the mid market. What good does it do to have this great tool if it's so expensive no one can afford it? Well, keeping it easy to use, keeping it easy to spin up, that helps us keep it affordable. And number four, we want it to be tailored to you. We wanted to provide a solution that's as unique as you. It's very customizable. Plus, we train the trainers so that we show you what you can do. We give you the tools to do it and you can do your own customization. You can do your own tailorization for your own networks to your own needs. So those are the four goals. Easy to use, easy to spin up, affordable for the mid market and tailored. So with that, we're going to switch gears here and kind of walk through the tabs that are at the top of every screen. Now remember, I logged in as the admin, so you'll see my active user as admin. I'm going to change that and become Abraham Lincoln for the day. That's a great feeling to be honest Abe here. So now my active user is a Lincoln. Now we're going to go across these tabs because these same tabs that I'm showing you here, every one that logs into trend forms is going to have them. So we're going to go through them. We're going to talk about the purpose of each one and then we're going to come back uh, at the end and have time for Q&A. By the way, we do have folks that are monitoring the chat. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to you know drop those questions in there and uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we address them. So the first tab that I want to show you is the inbox. Now as you can imagine the inbox has everything that requires the user's attention. So you can see all of the documents that need your attention. You can see what status they're in, who created them, what step they're in, um, all the different information that you want to see. And, and this is an example you get to kind of tailor what you want to see here. So if you want to see different types of information, that's fine. We can make that happen however you'd like to set it up. But your inbox is where everything that you need to look at exists. Now the next tab is pending. And pending, uh, this is the tab that has every form that the user has created, which is pending someone else's action. So maybe someone needs to review or edit or approve or whatever the case. This is where you can review everything that you're waiting on from others in your organization. And again, you can see which step the form is. So, you know, uh, if you want to send a note to someone or call someone, hey, can you help me out with this one and push it along? This is where you see that information and kind of who you're waiting on. OK, the next tab is completed and the completed tab not only shows the forms that I created, uh, which of course it does include. Remember, I'm logged in as Abraham Lincoln. Now you can see here are some forms created by me as Abraham Lincoln. But it not only shows the forms that I created as a user, it actually shows every form that I've interacted with, which is now in a completed statement. So you can see um, these forms were created by the admin, but since Abraham Lincoln worked on them in some way, they're showing up in Abraham Lincoln's completed box too. So whether I initiated or edited or approved the form, Every form that I've ever had to touch or interact with is here in my completed documents. The next tab is search. So search in trend forms is pretty straightforward. We have all of the fields on the form that you can search on. Plus you can enter search criteria in multiple fields so you can really drill down into what you want. 
And again, trend docs can be tailored to you. So if you want to search on different fields, then you can. For example, maybe you want to add vendor name or vendor number or job number, whatever the case, whatever fields are on your forms can be searched on here if you want to, to set them up that way. OK, the next tab is new form and I'm not going to click on it just yet. We're going to come back to it, but when you click on a new form with just one click, a new form is created. Surprise, surprise, right? Well, we'll we'll go through that in just a second, but I want to go through all of the other tabs first before we do, because we're actually going to spend a little bit more time there on that one. So one of my favorite things about trend forms is the ability to set up alias users. Now remember, I logged in as the admin, but right now my active user is Abraham Lincoln. So an alias user, uh, it's one of my favorite things, and it's great if you're away from the office and you want to assign someone else the ability to do your work for you so that things are not sitting around and waiting on you. You can do that. You can give someone else permissions to approve on your behalf, uh, and then that person is an alias user for you. So I'm logged in as the admin, but you can see here that I'm also set up to be an alias user for Abe Lincoln, George Washington, and the project manager. So I'm the admin, but I'm set up to be an alias user for Lincoln, Washington, and the project manager. So I can change my active user, and as soon as I do, here, let me get to the inbox here. So you can see Abraham Lincoln's inbox looks like this. When I change my active user, I'll change it to George Washington, and you'll see now George's inbox looks like this. Um, or the admin's inbox looks like this. So as I change the active user, all of the screens and tabs that I see change. So I can see that person's inbox, that person's pending, that person's completed, and I can work truly on their behalf. And so you might be thinking, well, how do you handle things like uh, approvals and audits and security? Uh, no problem. Approvals are captured as admin approved on behalf of Abraham Lincoln. And, and that type of thing. So this is a great feature for when someone's going to be out of pocket, uh, out of the office, or maybe when you have two people with overlapping duties and so on, and you want people to be able to, to work on the same types of things and still have an audit trail. Um, alias users are the way to go. Now, you might also be thinking about, wait a minute, I don't want just everybody and anybody being able to set up alias users across my organization, and we don't either. So the only way that you can set up an alias user is if you are a system admin. There's two types of users in trend forms. One is a system admin, and that person has lots of rights to do things like create new forms, create alias users, and those types of things. The other type of user is what most people are going to be, and that's just a standard user. But if you are a system admin, then you have full control over who has the ability to be an alias user. So again, not just anyone can set up alias user rights, but only admins. But that is a very helpful feature to keep things moving when someone's not available on the team. So that's active user. The next tab is entity. Now, entity is the same thing as company. And in trend forms, really everything is controlled by entity and by form type. So we can handle multiple companies. Uh, and based upon what company that I choose, then that determines what form types are available, however you set them up. So I'm ABC company. The next tab is form type, and we can handle multiple companies. We can also handle multiple form types. So you can see different types of things here. Um, for example, you can have capital requests or POs or really any type of form that you would want. Uh, they're all going to be listed here and they're going to be controlled by entities. So you can see what's showing for ABC company. There's a handful of forms. Now, if I change to XYZ company, well, now there's only two forms. So you can see entity controls the form type and the form type controls the fields and the things that you see. So I'm going to go back to ABC company and I'm going to click on the purchase requisition form. And this is where we're going to spend, um, you know, most of our time here. So we're looking at purchase requisitions, but again, trend forms can support lots of other form types, fixed assets, HR approvals, payroll, change of status, any form that needs approvals and routing, 
uh, works and trend forms and you can create them on your own. You don't need us to create them. You can do it on your own. And security is set at the form level two. So form type drives security. So if you have HR forms and payroll forms, uh, then only those users that have access to them will be able to see them, not, not everyone across the company. So you can have access to purchase requisitions, and maybe that's the only form type you have access to. Maybe you don't get to see CapEx, or maybe you don't get to see HR. Security is set at the form type level. Okay, so that's a quick breeze through all the different tabs that everyone's going to see. Now, let's go back and spend a little time on uh, new form. So again, with one click, uh, we have a, a new form. We have a new purchase requisition in process. And the way that forms works here is very simple. Again, Trend Forms was created for non-accounting users. So you have uh, lots of different options uh, to, for, for example, purchase date. You can choose the date based on a calendar dropdown, and um, you can go back and override that if you'd like. If I can get my mouse to work. And you can actually uh, give users the ability to, to create scripting language so that if you always wanted that to be today, you can do that. And, and any of these fields can have that same type of functionality built in however you'd like. So all of the fields that have an asterisk by them, like purchase date, are required fields. The rest of them are not required fields, and you can determine that too. So we're going to go purchase date, we're going to go department code, and job number, we'll just pick one, two, three, four, five. Now vendor name, here's something I want to spend a little bit of time on and, and watch uh, what happens as I kind of type here. So all of the information that we're, that we're pulling here um, is real time from your ERP. I'm pulling out a NAV today. So watch what happens as I type in A. Now you can see in our ERP system, several vendors start with the letter A. Now watch what happens as I type in another letter. We go from a handful here, type in a T. OK, now there's only two vendors. So. Um, in real time, if I back up and just go to A, now I'm back to that half a dozen or whatever. If I type in the next letter, it's drilling down into the vendors that exist in my ERP system. You're pulling out of your ERP system real time, and that's where we're getting all this information from. So vendors must be set up in your ERP system for first before they can be added to a PO in trend forms, uh, as long as you have that vendor name as a required field. If you want to have users to have the ability to add a vendor name later after the form is submitted, then we can do that too. We just need to change that so that vendor name is no longer a required field. No problem. Um, so as we um, click on the, um, the vendor name, I want you to watch. Now, I haven't typed in vendor ID. I haven't typed in state. I haven't typed in address. But as I click on um, one of these vendors watch as that happens okay so all that information with one click eliminates all this uh, manual data entry and now i have my vendor id my state my address uh, all these things that otherwise i would have had to, to to enter now the next thing i want to show you is pay attention to the grayed out fields uh, in particular the line total field and the sheet total field um, it's very easy to to add information in trend form. So uh, and, and as you do, things are saved, as you can see here. So I'm going to go uh, A to Z cleaning. Maybe they need some uh, cleaning supplies and we're going to say they need some mop and glow. And we're going to say we need to get uh, two things of mop and glow. And uh, we're going to say that those are twenty five dollars each. So you can see as I entered in that information, let me back up and do it again, line total changes and your overall total changes. So two things in Mop and Glow at $25 each, and we're capturing that information automatically for you. Now, you can add additional lines to the PO just by clicking the plus sign here. So let's say we also need to get some furniture and maybe we wanna get an office chair. We just need one of them. Now also watch as the line total changes and the overall total changes. Uh, we'll say that our office chair is um, 
$500. So you can see $500 plus $50 is 550, automatically calculates for you, very nice, uh, makes things super easy. So that's a quick look at how fast and easy it is to enter lines into your purchase requisition. These other tabs are all optional, and again, they're completely customizable and tailored to you. But for GL lines, uh, you can have everything hit a single GL line if you want, or you can even change, maybe we want the office chair hitting one line, and we want the mop and glow hitting another line. We can do that uh, very fast, very easy. Um, so attachments is the next piece here. If you want to add maybe a quote or something to the PO or, or whatever type of form you're using, you can do that here. Simply click the uh, paperclip button and then you can do a file uh, explorer and get whatever you want done in there. Comments is the last section. Now by default, comments are internal only. So we can add in a comment there. Uh, I'll say hello everyone, happy Earth Day 2021. Now, before I add this comment, I can choose, do I want that to be external facing so that everyone that sees this PDF copy of this purchase requisition also sees my note? Well, I don't think so, not with a comment like that. So I'm gonna leave that unclicked. And now it's just my colleagues inside the building that uh, have the chance to see that comment. So I'm gonna click add comment. And when I do that, it's name stamped. Remember, I'm logged in as the system administrator. So it's name stamped, it's date stamped, and it's time stamped. And that stays with the document for the life of the document. So after you've entered in all the information and reviewed it, and whenever you're ready to put the form into queue for routing and approvals, then you just click on the submit button. We'll go ahead and do that. Trend Forms is very flexible. Again, it can be customized to your needs. You can have rules and approvals that are set at the line item level for line uh, detail and line fields if you want. So for example, uh, any form that includes a certain GL account, maybe that has to route to this particular person or that person. Um, and rules and approvals are not just at the header level. Um, they can be all the way down to the line level. And, and you can have multiple approval rules if you want. It's a tailored solution. So you can have different drop downs, different fields, and maybe you want to have a field that's for taxable or non taxable. Uh, you can do that. You can build rules off of that too. But at any rate, the form that we just created here is in Abraham Lincoln's pending. And uh, this is it right uh, here, I believe. 5204. Let's see if that's the one that has my note. Yes, it is. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy Earth Day 2021. So you can see that's uh, name stamp, date stamp, time stamped, and so on. And, and you can see that also these fields are grayed out so that I, I can no longer change them. Once uh, a status is entered or pending approval or complete, then those forms cannot be edited. Uh, if it's an entered, pending approval or complete, those forms cannot be edited uh, for security purposes. But if the status is in an edit step, for instance, maybe you want to have part of your workflow to be an edit step. We can do that and one user can make uh, the changes that are needed. Uh, but you know, if you created the document, if you're an approver of the document, you cannot make changes. Approvers can review, they can add comments, they can approve or reject the form, but they cannot edit unless they're the owner of that edit step that we just spoke about. And this is true um, for security purposes. You know, we want to make sure that what you're approving is uh, what was intended to be approved. So now let me flip over. This is in Abraham Lincoln's pending. Uh, but it's actually routing to the admin for approval. So let me flip over to admin now. And remember, as I do that, all of the fields, the tabs are going to change. So uh, this document 5204 is what we're looking for. Um, if I flip over to the admin, 5204 is not in the admin's pending because it requires action from the admin. So it's in the admin's inbox. So you see right here, here's that document. 
same one. There's my same note. Hello, everyone. Happy Earth Day 2021. Um, so now, you know, with one click, I can approve that document, reject it, suspend it, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to approve it. And actually, I'm going to spend a, a little bit of time here. Let me click on one and, and kind of show you something else that's pretty neat for approval rules. So one of the things that you can do is you can see approval uh, lines and see the steps that are uh, needed. So let's click on approval lines and you can see, OK, here are uh, different steps and things that are needed based on the rules that I set up and you get to define what those rules are. Um, we can do things like take a look at the audit trail. And you can see, OK, this was uh, approved at this time by this person. It was approved at that time by that person. Um, do lots of neat things. And these other three forms, those first two approval lines and audit trails, anyone that logs into trend forms can see. These other three, these override and delete only admins can do those. So these are just for admins, but you can actually override a user, you can override a workflow, or you can actually delete the whole form. So let me go back in as Abraham Lincoln and show you something else that's pretty neat here. I'm going to hop over to the completed forms. So all users can do something that's really neat. You can see all the forms here that have gained full approval uh, and you can uh, download if you want to a PDF of that just by clicking on the button here. Uh, we can open the file and see it. There's the one that we just opened up um, or you can actually copy and paste from a completed form and create a new form. So I'm going to open up 5174 and now with one button again, I could download a PDF like we just did or I can copy to a new form. So for example, if you're issuing POs for the same thing over and over uh, and you find a completed form that you want to copy, then you can just click this copy to new form button and now you have a new form with all the information that you need already filled out and you can just edit um, whatever you'd like. So this last time this purchase was for five pieces of paper at $25. Well, let's say instead of five this time uh, we want to buy 10. Uh, it's that easy. So you can also, um, like I said, download a PDF of that uh, form and, and um, you know, do whatever you want if you need to email something out. So let me get back in here as an admin and show you something else that's really neat. Um, there's an action menu and in the action menu admin users can very easily very quickly drill down and set up new form types so uh, under form setup you can here I'll go in and show you how you can put something in to edit and you can change the status from active to in development and when you do that uh, that locks out everyone else and so uh, we've saved it and we see that no other users can can use this form type. They'll get an error message that pops up. But as an admin, I can keep on working on that. So now I can go in and look at my fields. Uh, you can determine what fields that you want. You can determine what order they're in. Uh, if they're numbered fields, you can put decimal places to them. If they're date fields, you can have a calendar date picker. If they're text fields, you can have drop downs. You can determine where that information comes from. Is it auto populated based on another field or whatever you'd like to do? You can choose the column. Uh, where does the data uh, you know, field land? Is it on the left side or the right side? You can choose what tab it's in, all sorts of things. Uh, and you can set calculated fields. So remember when we had the line items totaling up uh, this is where you can have that happen and you can set up those calculations to happen in real time. You know, add, subtract, multiply, divide, sum a column, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is where you do that. This is also where you would set up your tabs, your workflow steps and your settings. Um, you know, whatever you'd like to do. Now I'm going to uh, go back into the form type here. Oops, I was already there. And uh, now I'm going to change back after I've done my work. I need to make sure that I change that back to active and save it. Make sure to save your work. Otherwise, it will lock everyone else out and they uh, won't be able to get back in. But we've saved successfully. Um, so this is also where as an admin, you can set up your alias users. So you have roles 
um, and you can set up the different types of users that you have there. You can set up security clearances so that only the users that you want to be able to see and approve for specific entities or form types or whatever you want. This is where you can do that and you can control all of that on your own uh, all the way down to the names and terminology that's used for the buttons. Make sure that you save uh, your status and set it back to active. OK, so now that we've kind of gone through trend forms and done an overview there, I want to hop over into trend docs. And by the way, again, I'm very happy to um, speak with you if you want to do a deeper dive and, and go into something uh, one on one that's a little more tailored just for you, just for your business needs. That's what we do. So I would love to speak with you, but uh, I want to hop into trend docs so you can see how tightly integrated trend docs and trend forms is now. Every 15 minutes, TrendForms automatically pushes information over into TrendDocs. So um, that's happening behind the scenes automatically. You don't have to touch anything. Every 15 minutes, TrendForms is pushing information into TrendDocs and obviously tying everything together into your ERP system. However, you can also go into TrendForms and do a manual push. Maybe you have something that's hotter than 15 minutes that you've got to get approved right now before the person um, you know, leaves for China or whatever the case might be. And by the way, even if they left for China, if you have trend forms, you, it's web based so they can still do their work. But let's say you have something super hot and you want to push it over into um, um, trend docs, you, you can do that. So, you know, here's here's kind of where you can do that kind of thing. But now we'll look at trend docs uh, and not trend forms anymore. So. Once a form is completed in trend forms, and again, basically as soon as it's completed, it drops into trend docs. And for demo purposes, I have a very simple trend forms workflow, and it's just capturing the PDF from trend forms. And then trend forms is automatically filling in all of the fields that I want here in trend docs. So you can have 100% of the trend form fields if you want. You can have just a few, whatever you'd like to do. I chose just a few uh, just for illustration purposes. But what we can do from here is to set it up so that when a form is in trend docs, then we can automatically push it to your ERP system and have that PO created for you there, right there in your ERP system. I want to back up and say that one more time. I went a little fast, but what we can do from here is we can set it up so that when a form is in trend docs, we can automatically push it to your ERP system and we can have that PO created for you there in your P ERP automatically so you don't have to touch it. So I want to look at uh, something that that's really neat here and I'm going to click on a document. OK, you can see document 49796 is what we're looking at, uh, but it's marked as related to this other document 49803. You can see those are two different documents. 49803 looks different than 49796. One is the purchase order, the other is the invoice, but they're tied together by this PO number, ABC020. ABC020, and so those are related documents. So you can do something super cool here. With one click, you can download a PDF of that related document packet. And now, instead of having a PDF of just this one purchase order, you can have a PDF that has that purchase order, plus the invoice and whatever other documents that are related and you get to determine what documents you want to be related. Now these were related based on the PO number, uh, but you can set them up, you know, however you'd like. So at any rate, you can see how quickly and easily POs and invoices that are related to each other, they can be downloaded as a PDF that can be emailed right from Trend Docs to, uh, again, we can just email a PDF here. But invoices come in, you know, PO number and invoice total are pulled off in a template. And as soon as that PO is in Trend Docs, then we automatically find the matching Trend Forms document. We compare it to the invoice total dollars here that's on the purchase requisition. We compare that to the total dollars of the invoice. And if they match, then Trend Docs knows that you've already gone through all of the approvals and will either pull in all the receipt lines out of your ERP system or Trend Docs can actually pull in lines from the e from the purchase requisition if you're not doing things in your ERP 
and we'll create a PO and do a receive an invoice all at the same time, all in one step, all at the same time automatically. We create a PO, we do a receive an invoice just like that. If they match. Now, if they don't match, then we can put in here that they don't match and anyone can look at the invoice and the PO since they're related documents and they're linked together, then this is very easy and they can edit as uh, needed. So we can check between systems, trend forms, trend docs, and your ERP is everything's very tightly uh, linked together, very seamless. And so it's really fast. We can drop it into trend forms, create it in your ERP, match to your payables, uh, invoice and trend docs. And again, we can set up rules and flags too, so that PO numbers are automatically created. There's no duplicates. Trend docs can replace the ERP PO if that's what you want to have happen. So what does all this mean for you? Well, it means we can help your team work a lot uh, more efficiently. We can help your team uh, gain back that valuable time that they wish they had to do other things that are much more value added than manual data entry. We can automate and automation equals efficiency equals increased profits. That's what we can do for you. We can deliver no touch invoicing if that's what you want to do. We can help you go paperless. With that, we'll stop and check the questions. And I want to thank you again for your time today. Thank you for your interest in uh, working smarter and more efficiently. Would love to see how we can help you with that uh, with trend forms if that's your need like we talked today or if you're looking for accounts payable automation and you would like help with that then we can do that with trend docs would love to give you a demo there or if you need help with your vendor payments we can help with that too and any of these solutions can be taken as one off and they integrate very tightly very seamlessly with your existing ERP system with your existing accounting systems or if you don't want to do one at a time and you want to kind of bolt on two or three, uh, then that's even better. That's even more efficiencies that you'll gain. So again, my name is Jeremy Pritchard. I'm the director of sales and marketing for Trend Docs. We have three solutions and we can automate your entire procure to pay transaction. We would love to do that. We would love to make your AP team happy. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Jeremy, for that great overview of Trend Docs. Uh, trend forms and trend pay. It certainly was wonderful to see that uh, specifically on trend forms. Uh, we now have a few minutes here for questions. Um, our team will certainly uh, will continue to monitor the Q&A. So if you have a question, definitely go ahead and drop that into uh, the Q&A there. Um, Jeremy, I believe you're on with me now, right? Yes, sir. Hi, Bobby. All right. Hey, Jeremy, glad you could join us. Thanks again for that presentation. Um, you know, as we wait for questions to come in, I know that, um, you know, we had a couple that other clients have often, um, you know, shared or, or expressed with us before. And so maybe I'll hit on a couple of those as we as we see if any questions come in, if that's OK. Sure. Sure. Um, so, you know, one thing, what is your favorite feature of TrendForms? Um, kind of you went over several. What What's kind of your favorite or you think is one of the best things about it? Well, I love the, the whole solution, honestly, but there is one feature in particular that I really, really like, and that's that alias user option. So that if you're away on vacation or if you're out of pocket for whatever period of time and you don't want that work piling up on you when you get back, you can assign full rights to someone else. Um, and as an admin user, you can do that. If you're not an admin, you just need to get with your admin and, and make sure that, that you can assign alias users to cover for you while you're out perfect awesome and and i know that when we talk to different clients they often ask well hey we have multiple companies multiple entities trendforms don't have any issues with that right can you hit on that a little bit sure yeah we can handle uh, multiple companies uh, you know multiple entities multiple departments multiple types of forms uh there's no uh, issue from our perspective no limitations um we can grow with you as you grow and on top of that, we're tailored, uh, you know, and as unique as you are. So um, whatever you need to do, we have the flexibility and the bandwidth to do it. Great. And for those of you online, please drop those questions in the Q&A, drop your email. Uh, if you want a copy of, um, you know, the presentation slides or the recording, we'll definitely get that shared to you as well. Uh, two other questions for you, Jeremy. First up, how does pricing of trend forms work? 
Uh, that's a good question. And the pricing is driven by a couple of different things. Of course, there's a one-time um, development you know, piece for the integration. And then there's a recurring license and that's based upon um, users. You know, There's the, the system admins, which require a license and then people that are gonna be you know, doing approvals and that sort require a license. So two parts, one-time development and recurring license. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then we just had a question come in here. It says, does Trend in Trendox, does a search field allow searching of the account number? If that's what's on your form as, as an account number, uh, then absolutely. You can tailor what is on your form. That, that can be there. Um, and of course, that would be pulling directly from your ERP system. So the answer is yes. If you have account number as one of the fields that's on your form, then you can search on that. Perfect. And then, so you showed us and you mentioned that your favorite feature was that alias feature within trend forms. Is that available within the trend docs piece as well, or is that just a trend forms concept? That, that's a trend forms concept. Uh, that might be something that's in development uh, to my knowledge, unless there's something super new that I'm not sure of, <laughs> which, which could be the case, but no, I believe that's a trend forms only. Perfect. All right, two other questions real quick. What are, um, you know, kind of four goals, top goals of, of trend forms? Sure, that's, uh, you know, another one of my favorite things. And there's, there's four goals. The, the first one is to be easy to use. And, uh, you know, by trade, I am not an accountant, uh, but even I can use it. So it's easy to use. Uh, the second goal is it's easy to spin up. You know, it's, it's a lightweight tool. So it doesn't take a ton of development work. Um, which means we can be up and running extremely fast. You know, in under two weeks, we can be uh, from a conversation like this to you working with the trend forms, you know, integrated to your ERP system. So easy to use, easy to spin up. Those two things keep it affordable for the mid market. That's the third goal is to be affordable. Doesn't do any good to have, you know, a great tool that no one can afford. So affordable is the third goal. And then the fourth goal is to be a tailored solution. You know, it's very frustrating to, to go out and buy something that's, uh, quote, one size fits all, which usually is never the case. Uh, at least that's been my experience. And so Trend Forms is tailored, truly is as unique as you. And those are the four goals. Perfect. Thanks. And then obviously our clients, if they have questions or they want to learn more about Trend Docs, Trend Forms, Trend Pay, they can always reach out to myself or Tara. But if they wanted to contact you directly, I know I have your contact information here in a second that I'll show. But do you want to just give your phone number and email out again real quick for, for those on the on the line? Sure. Um, again, my name is Jeremy Pritchard and my phone number is 859-309-8742. And my email address is jprichard at trendocs.com. And obviously I'm on LinkedIn and other social media if you wanna uh, find me there. However you wanna reach me, uh, feel free to do so. I would love to help, uh, help your teams however possible. Perfect. Awesome, Jeremy. Appreciate all the information. Appreciate uh, your work on the presentation there. I don't see any other questions, so maybe we'll just jump on here uh, to the next steps. So I hope those of you in attendance don't think you're getting off lightly. We do have a little bit of homework uh, for each of you here. Uh, first, be sure to complete that session evaluation once that comes. Again, get that completed by the end of the day Friday. That'll enter you into the drawing uh, for the various giveaways next week. Secondly, uh, for questions, support needs, uh, can Trend Docs, can Trend Forms, can Trend Pay do that? Uh, reach out to me, reach out to Tara. Uh, we'll show Jeremy's contact here in just a moment. Reach out to us. We'll be happy to have those conversations with you. Uh, thirdly, give us a like or a follow on social media platforms on Twitter at Trendsoft and uh, at Trend Docs. And then we're also on Facebook and LinkedIn as well, where we're often posting several bits of information about news updates, releases, information, webinar, how-tos, et cetera. Finally, visit both of our, our companies on uh, online, uh, trendsoft.com and trenddocs.com. Uh, at trendsoft.com, we have a blog with, that we're continually updating um, and putting information out there as well. So be sure to check those out for us. All right, with that, we certainly thank you for attending today's Trend Form session. Uh, you see all of our various contact information there. Jeremy is there in the middle with his contact information. Uh, and then again, if you have 
questions uh, and you want to reach out to your Trendsoft contact, please contact myself or Tara. We'll be happy to get you in touch with Jeremy or anybody else on the TrendDocs team. With that, we thank you again for your time uh, on the webinar today, and we look forward to continuing to work with you and the team going forward this year and, and on into the future. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.